Get started. We're going to talk about our number one fear in life. And when people are asked in surveys, surveys after surveys, people are asked, what's their number one fear in life? And the amazing thing is that public speaking will consistently top the list of number one fears in life. You got to think about it. Public speaking being higher on the list consistently than death. Which one would you rather be doing? <laughs> no, which one I'd rather be doing? Think about it. Giving a eulogy or in a casket? I think I'd rather be getting up talking to people. Let's talk about, we're going to talk about fear in general. And what I want to do, I'm going to talk about what my number one fear is in life, and then I'm going to go around the room and find out what your number one fear in life is. My number one fear in life, I would say, is probably just failure. The fear of failure. And the problem with that is that if you don't fail, that means you're not trying. So to not even try means you will never succeed. So that's a fear I need to overcome. I need to go ahead and try and go ahead and fail. Fail to success. That's one of my number one fears is probably failure in general. So I'm gonna, we're gonna, what I want you to do, we're gonna practice our leadership skills. You will stand up, introduce yourself to the room, and talk about your number one fears. And we're gonna start up front with this gentleman right here, please, sir. As I mentioned before, the number one fear that people will list over and over again in surveys is fear of public speaking. Fear of public speaking being even higher on the list than death. Let's talk about fear a little bit, fear in general. I'm gonna start out with the definitional meaning of fear. Fear is an emotion experienced in anticipation of danger, usually associated with a fight or flight response. You're gonna have two responses to fear. You will either stand up to your fear, which is the fight, or you're gonna run away from your fear, which is the flight. Fear is gonna be different from person to person. People fear animals. What was that, fear snakes? Spiders. Spiders are spiders. Unless somebody in the last one was snakes. Spiders, they can be spiders. Fear of failure, fear of not succeeding. Fear is gonna be different from person to person. People can fear something as dangerous as jumping out of an airplane skydiving, or someone fearing something as simple as walking into a Starbucks ordering a cup of coffee. The fear of public speaking. The fear of talking to a stranger. No matter what the fear is, it's fear to that person. We can laugh and say, oh, they can't even order a cup of coffee? <laughs> That's a fear that a person has. Yes, public speaking is a fear. But we must learn to conquer our fears and not let the fear conquer us. Sounds like a cliche, but it's true. Fear can serve to protect you. Fear can give you the adrenaline rush to prepare you for a threat. Fear can put the experience in your memory banks as to help you to avoid the threat in the future. So fear does serve to protect us. Fear can prolong your life. You walk up to the edge of a cliff, you feel fearful. That's the body's fight or flight response kicking in to let you know that standing at the edge of a cliff is a fearful event that may possibly take your life. Your body's going to respond. Your heart beat may start to increase. Your breathing may start to increase. You may start to feel panic and anxiety. You may start to feel a need to escape. That's normal, the flight. But we must learn to conquer our fears and don't let the fear conquer us. Fear of public speaking. I first came to a group called Toastmasters. Toastmasters is an organization that helps you become a better public speaker, can help you become a better leader, listener, speech writer. So I went to this group wanting to conquer my fear of public speaking because I've been with the group for about a year. What you see now, I couldn't have done a year ago. I did conquer my fear of public speaking. Excuse me, I'm still scared when I get in front of people. It sounds like I, you, I don't think you totally, 100% conquer a public speaking fear because you need that nervousness and anxiety. It helps you to perform at your best. I was a little nervous and, and fearful before you guys walk in, but that's good. That anticipation, that nervousness will help bring out your best. Because if you don't have any emotions, when you get in front of people and talk, you come off as a robot. Like a Henry Kissinger, you, mean, you guys probably don't remember that guy. Or a Bueller, Bueller, the teacher who doesn't care, they're just reading out information. They have no emotions when they're, they're teaching you. So it's good to have some of that nervousness. It's gonna force you to really bring out your best. So the fear of public speaking, the total fear will never go away. 
We're human. We need that emotion to help bring out our best, the fear of public speaking. But to overcome your fears, the first thing we must do is acknowledge. Some of us kid ourselves about, oh, I'm not scared. Yes, acknowledge the fear. I'm afraid of swimming. I'm afraid of riding motorcycles. I'm afraid of skydiving. I'm afraid of public speaking. We make a self-affirmation that we have the fear, and then we can proceed to conquer. One of my favorite books is a book called The Magic of Thinking Big, and it mentions how to overcome fear. How to overcome fear, take action. Action cures fear. Action cures fear. Action cures fear. You afraid of swimming? Pick up the phone and let's schedule some swim lessons. Just do it. Afraid of riding a motorcycle? Let's schedule a motorcycle class. Let's just do it. As men, you're afraid to go talk to a beautiful woman? Just do it. Don't think about it. Go talk to her. Rejection is a part of life. Take action. Do it. Action cures fear.